Christian Eriksen admits Man United learned lesson from chaotic preseason last summer. Manchester United endured a brutal preseason schedule 12 months ago, and Christian Eriksen believes that the changes made for this term have proven beneficial for the Red Devils. Christian Eriksen reckons Manchester United have learned their lesson from last year's chaotic preseason tour by prioritizing football on the trip. United's players endured a hectic and draining U.S. tour last year, playing preseason friendlies in New Jersey, Houston, San Diego, and Las Vegas, fulfilling commercial and sponsorship demands. The players felt the second game of the tour in particular, against Real Madrid in Houston, put an unnecessary strain on them in terms of travel and ultimately had a detrimental effect. Eric Ten Hag's squad flew from their San Diego base to Houston and then straight back, a seven-hour round trip, with many players feeling that was too much and a tipping point. United have done things differently this year, cutting down on travel by basing themselves in Los Angeles, with one game there and one in San Diego, an hour's flight from L.A., before a final friendly in North Carolina. Asked if this preseason felt less stressful than last year, Erickson said, Yes, 100%. I do think so. It's different being at a base and traveling less to the games. It definitely is different. Obviously, last summer is what it is. It's also a sponsor's trip at the same time as fitness, and looking at it, the football was pushed a little bit backwards last season. But I do think this year football has been pushed forward, and the focus is on that. Just in general, there were a lot of flights in between, there were a lot of short trips for one or two days in this city, and then the next one. We needed to really slow down and acclimatize because it was a different environment and a different place to train than a different hotel. If we speak next year or in two weeks' time, maybe I can say it was better or worse, but it's feeling better. United ended last season in eighth position, their worst ever Premier League finish with Ericsson admitting the scrutiny on the club and the players is unique in world football. I wouldn't call it a soap opera, but it's definitely a club where people have high emotions about it, said Ericsson. Everyone has an opinion about United. It doesn't matter if you're a fan or not a fan. There are no neutrals. It's love or hate. Obviously, when it's going bad, there's a lot more haters coming out than lovers. Ericsson, who has a year left on his contract, added, For me, I'm a United player and for the next year as well. I haven't been told to leave or anything about an extension, so I have one year left and I feel good. In a candid reflection, Danish midfielder Christian Eriksen has revealed that Manchester United's tumultuous preseason last summer served as a significant learning experience for the team. Speaking to the press ahead of the new season, Ericsson shared insights into how the club has adapted and evolved since the chaotic period that marred their preparations. Last summer, Manchester United's preseason was marked by a series of disruptions, including injuries to key players, managerial uncertainties, and a series of poor performances in friendly matches. The turbulence cast a shadow over the club's preparations and contributed to a shaky start to the Premier League campaign. However, Ericsson's latest comments suggest that the challenges faced during that time have ultimately strengthened the team's resolve and understanding of what is required to succeed at the highest level. We had a lot of difficulties last year, Ericsson admitted. From injuries to a lack of cohesion on the pitch, it was a tough period for everyone involved. But looking back, I think those challenges taught us a lot. We learned the hard way that preparation is not just about fitness, but about building a strong team spirit and understanding the tactical demands of the manager. The Danish playmaker highlighted how the preseason provided crucial lessons in resilience and adaptability. We had to deal with unexpected situations and adjust quickly. Those experiences have made us more adaptable and better prepared to handle the pressures of a long season. We know now that we need to be ready for anything, and that every member of the squad has a role to play. Manchester United's manager, Eric Ten Hag, also weighed in on the lessons learned from the previous preseason. We had to evaluate and reassess our approach. It was clear that we needed to focus on creating a more stable environment for the team. 
We worked hard on improving our fitness levels, team dynamics, and tactical understanding. This preseason, we aimed to address those issues head-on and ensure that we were better prepared for the challenges ahead. Meanwhile, in other news, Man United Ivan Tony transfer dream scenario now possible after exit confirmed. Manchester United transfer news as unique opportunity arises for Eric Ten Hag to offer to striker targets, including Joshua Xerxy and Ivan Tony. For the first time since the end of the 2013-14 Premier League season, Manchester United's famous number nine shirt is free. Passed between impressed strikers and some less memorable names, even Roy Keane and Nicky Butt at one stage, the pressure still weighs heavy. With Anthony Martial leaving the club, the jersey is free once more. Since arriving in 2015 and taking on the honor, but also expectation, it has been given away to Zlatan Ibrahimović and Romelu Lukaku in the meantime. Now, United can offer their number nine top to the variety of new forwards being courted. Joshua Xerxy is certainly one of those names who will be in the mix to wear the shirt. Should his transfer from Bologna be completed as it seems well on the way to being, then he will surely have a chance. The Dutchman doesn't have much senior football history to go off, but after moving to Italy in 2022, he soon took up the number 9 shirt and performed well with it. The other option is reportedly Ivan Tony. He is a player said to have been discussed by the club as they monitor options heading into the new season. Despite feeling like a main character during plenty of points of his career, and therefore suiting the numbered nine shirt, Tony has rarely worn it. Only after returning to Scunthorpe on loan in 2017-18 and during a period at Shrewsbury has he actually taken it on. Instead, in the last five years of his career, the Englishman wears number 17 for club and also for recently for country as well. Both players, Tony and Xerxy, seem natural fits for the shirt at Old Trafford. For Tony, his number 17 top is currently taken by Alejandro Garnacho, and he doesn't seem likely to be going anywhere soon or to be giving it away. If that does leave the number 9, then it would surely play into Tony's ambitions as a top-level player to take on the privilege of wearing it for United were he to join. Given the competition in the market for Xerxy and Tony among clubs across Europe, having this extra factor may well hand United a slight advantage as well. Either way, United have been looking for someone to wear the number 9 shirt with pride on a regular basis, pretty much since Dimitar Berbatov, who was the last to do so and leave gracefully having donned the number for more than one season. Manchester United's pursuit of Ivan Tony has received a significant boost following confirmation of his exit from his current club. The striker's departure has opened the door for United to potentially make their move in what could be described as a dream scenario for the club. Tony, known for his prolific goal-scoring abilities, has been on United's radar for some time. His impressive performances in recent seasons have made him a sought-after talent among top clubs, and United's interest signals their intent to bolster their attacking options. With Tony now available on the transfer market, United can explore the possibility of securing his signature to strengthen their forward line. The club's management and scouting team are likely to intensify discussions and negotiations to bring Tony to Old Trafford, aiming to finalize a deal that satisfies both parties. For Tony himself, the prospect of joining Manchester United represents a significant career opportunity. The chance to compete at one of the world's most prestigious clubs under the guidance of experienced coaches and alongside top-tier talent is sure to be enticing. As the transfer saga unfolds, fans and pundits alike will closely monitor developments, speculating on how Tony's potential arrival could impact United's attacking dynamics and their ambitions for the upcoming season. The alignment of United's interest with Tony's availability sets the stage for what could indeed be a dream scenario coming to fruition for both the club and the player. Ivan Tony's potential move to Manchester United has been a topic of discussion as the club explores options ahead of the new season. 
Despite his significant role and impact throughout his career, Tony has surprisingly had limited opportunities to wear the coveted number 9 shirt. Throughout his career, Tony has often found himself in key roles for his teams, demonstrating his capability as a main character on the pitch. However, the number 9 shirt, traditionally associated with prolific goal scorers and iconic figures in football history, has been less frequently adorned by Tony himself. If Tony were to join Manchester United, the number 9 shirt holds symbolic importance. It represents not only a number but also a legacy of legendary forwards who have graced the club's history. For Tony, donning the number 9 jersey at Old Trafford would carry with it the weight of expectation and the opportunity to carve his own place in the annals of United.